Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jalen, and today I have the most exciting video I could ever have personally. Um, I have some very exciting personal news that I think anyone who's followed me for some length of time on this channel will understand the gravity of what has happened to me and <laughs> why this is so, it's been a very emotional week, but let me get cut to the chase. Actually, before I do, Going back to where this channel all started, I'm having a beer today, a celebratory beer. It is a Purpose Pilsner from Greenwood Brewing here in Arizona. It is a woman-owned brewery that's like five minutes away from me. They make excellent beer. So yeah, I'm having a Pilsner and it's delicious. But I am here to say that I have landed my dream job in book publishing. I announced this just about a week ago on my Instagram, and I've been trying to work myself up to making a video about this just because it means so much to me. I don't really know what I want to say. I don't know how to succinctly talk about this, but I'm hoping you all be okay with just a ramble of me talking about how I got this job, what's going on, why this means so much to me, etc. So here's story time, I guess. Yeah, so I have accepted a position at Penguin Random House. I am going to be assistant director of marketing for two imprints, one being the Random House imprint and the other being Hogarth Books. And the focus of the position is for literary fiction and also a touch of narrative nonfiction as well. So if you know me, that is exactly like what I read. I read like 80 to 90% lit fic and then the other you know, gap there is random stuff, but mostly like essay collections, memoir, literary criticism, that sort of thing. If anyone here is unfamiliar with me, I have been a lawyer for almost four years now, and I have been gradually like growing within the book space in terms of this YouTube channel. I started on Bookstagram, then I made this channel during the pandemic, and now I have an author interview podcast, which has been like my heart and soul. Like over the last year, that's been like my primary focus on this channel has been doing author interviews and also, you know, creating these videos, but I've just been trying to gradually grow and network on that front. And I've always had this, you know, hope in the back of my mind that I could maybe one day work in publishing, but it always seemed sort of not possible or just unrealistic. My understanding was that publishing was very New York focused. And so over the last like two years, I've been having some informational interviews with people within publishing, trying to figure out what might be the best way to sort of bridge the gap between my two interests, being a lawyer, like how could I break into publishing with that experience while maybe not doing law per se, just kind of like feeling things out and just trying to talk to people and didn't really have any strong ideas about what I could be doing. I didn't know my right way in, so to speak. And so there have been a couple of YouTube videos over the past like year and a half where I've for example, I made a ramble about what am I doing on booktube, having like an existential crisis about <laughs> starting the podcast, what am I doing, trying to perform online, like what does that all mean, why am I reviewing books, like what am I doing on that front. And I've also just made other videos where I've, you know, hit certain goals of mine with the podcast in particular, meaning I've had some of my all-time favorite writers such as Otessa Moshveg, Jonathan Franzen, Brandon Taylor have all come on the podcast and I've said in those videos that I feel like I'm satisfied enough with the podcast and what it's doing and I just love so much interviewing authors and just flexing my brain on that front trying to think of interesting questions hopefully having you know a good conversation that's also generative for them as it is for me and hopefully creating a good product for you all but I would kind of hint at like hoping something will come of it and I didn't know what that really meant but I think what I was trying to articulate was like maybe I could one day make a career out of it but like I never thought that I would actually break into publishing. I didn't know if I could maybe monetize a podcast and then be a lawyer, but then have something else that makes me supplemental income on the side or something. I didn't really know. Or if I could just like, maybe I could work with like a more established literary uh, publication or something, interviewing authors professionally. Like I didn't really know what that all meant. But then on Instagram, um, a few weeks back, there was a posting on the Hogarth Books uh, Instagram account for assistant director of marketing, this position. And I saw it, I was gonna apply, but I didn't wanna get my hopes up at all, just because, again, I'm in Phoenix, I don't have formal marketing experience, and I also don't have formal publishing experience. I've only had my lawyer background, my BA in business, and then aside from that, just doing my own kind of book stuff. And I just always thought that I would need to have that formal experience. Anyways, I applied for it, and long story short, I got the job, and uh, I told myself I'm not gonna cry in this video, so I'm trying to like hold it in a little bit, but um, I'm still trying to process that because 
again, I never thought it was possible. And I, it, it feels like my dream job, you know, reading the job overview and I was applying for the job and then through the interview process, asking them about this position, it feels so perfectly attuned to my interests, both in terms of what books I like to read, but also just the job itself just feels like it's going to be so rewarding in terms of developing marketing campaigns for books that I truly believe in with two imprints that I've already believed in for a long time and have featured many titles on this channel. And so it just feels very full circle in so many regards. And so what I wanted to just say with this is I want to thank every single person who has watched this channel, who has been rooting for me or has entertained my ideas or when I've been very overthinky about what I'm doing on here or, you know, my neck usually gets very red in my <laughs> YouTube videos. This one, not so much so far. We'll see if that switches now that I've pointed that out. But joining BookTube was the best thing that I've ever done in my life. Um, out of everything that I've, you know, done in terms of books or otherwise, I mean, joining BookTube was the one thing that one, saved my mental health during the pandemic. And then from there has just really saved my mental health generally. Having an outlet to, you know, think about every single night. I mean, every night I read in this room to hopefully have enough books to talk about in wrap ups and interviewing authors. Like all of this has been something that has been so stabilizing for me, has been so generative for myself. In terms of the friends that I've made on here, I have made lifelong friends on BookTube, especially when I first started, like my core group of friends that all started around the same time, meaning CJ, Hannah, Grace, and Katie Books. We all started right around the same time, early pandemic, and I still talk to them every single day, all day. and. They have directly experienced my existential crises on a weekly basis of me <laughs> wondering what I can maybe do to break into publishing or work in books or just figure out like, what am I missing? Or like, how could I have a satisfying life around books aside from just this being my hobby, you know? And they've entertained all my thoughts and ideas around booktube videos, around the, the podcast, around how I should ask certain authors to be on the podcast. Was it too ridiculous to ask Jonathan Franzen to come on? They told me just go for it, Jalen, and I and I got it. So like they've been in my corner from the start and I love them so much. And aside from that, like just thank you all who have watched this channel, who have subscribed, because you all helped me get this job. And so uh, here I go. Yeah, I just can't thank you all enough because it's been like a really a dream come true. And this is so cringe, I'm crying on YouTube, but I'm going to be honest to my feelings and I have to express this because I feel like words aren't sufficient to explain how much this means to me and how excited I am about this because I, I did feel, I just never thought this was a, like I've said this many times, but I really didn't think this could ever happen. And just the idea of waking up every day and being able to work professionally and build my career within publishing, working with authors, working at Penguin Random House, which is Penguin Random House, <laughs> like I just, I cannot wrap my head around it. And so to wrap the story up, I start next month in July. Yeah, it's been a little scary thinking about leaving the practice of law for something completely different because I went to law school for, you know, three years past the bar and I've worked and practiced in law for almost four years. So that's a good, well, it's seven years technically of my life, but then also even in undergrad, I always kind of had the goal of being a lawyer. So it's been a little emotional, like coming to terms with the fact that I think I want to leave it uh, for now. And it's been scary. It's a little terrifying to make this leap. But I should also say this job is remote, which is really lucky. Um, I'm going to still be in Arizona. I cannot believe that that came up. Like, again, like there's so many little things to the story that I could talk for another 30 minutes about how weird everything <laughs> kind of has happened. Like, everything just feels so perfect. And I'm not very, like, a believer in, like, signs or anything. Like, I'm not that kind of person. But this is very weird and I can't wrap my head around it. And I've been emotional because it doesn't feel real yet. And I feel like, not that I don't deserve it, but that it just, like having this opportunity to pursue my dream career just feels, I feel incredibly lucky, incredibly fortunate. And um, you all have been the number one factor in contributing to that. Despite me making a pivot on this channel to being a more podcast focus, which of course comes with technically lesser viewers and it's more niche, but so many of you have just rode so hard for this channel and for me and rooted for me and I can't even like express what that means to me. So so yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, I'm going to be an assistant director of marketing at Penguin Random House. I'm still going to go ahead with this channel and with reading the room. And to the extent that I'm able to, I'll, I'll keep you guys posted on what I'm you know doing and publishing. And yeah, I, I'm so excited for this next chapter. Um, I am just, I'm floored. I'm, I'm truly floored. And yeah, like if you've watched this channel, you know what this means to me. Like I feel like there's a lot of people maybe coming to this video that are new to my channel and um, 
I'm, I'm hoping that I'm kind of explaining this well enough to, to explain how much this means, but uh, yeah, I cannot believe it. And I now get to live a life of books and publishing, and I'm just so excited. So I will wrap it up here. Thank you all for being a part of the Bar in the Bookcase and to many more years of books and publishing and talking about books with authors and otherwise and having some beers and glasses of wine and cocktails you know the Jalen the Jalen way <laughs> so yeah thank you all very very much if you have any questions about this I'm I can share as much as I can thank you all so much and I will catch you all in the next one cheers